Greetings, people of the world. Matthew back with you for the continuation of Let's Play White Knight Chronicles 1 and 2. And now, having arrived in the underbelly of Greed, we have to try and help Amir here get to the location where he can get access to where he uses the controls for the Demithor. So we have to help him out and try and defeat all the monsters that we come across in order to help him achieve that end. So, we're going to start by beating up a whole bunch of spiders. Uh, and we're... Yeah, I don't, don't expect this to be much of a surprise that we're going to start seeing bad guys being able to put me to sleep more often. And other status ailments that go, as well, like paralysis and poison. Alright, so let's go over here now. Yeah, there are lots of enemies to fight here underground, here in Greed's Underbelly. I just hope they're forthcoming with as much experience points as possible. I'm curious. Well, I can't. My curiosity can't be satisfied if I don't score. Okay, and these things are actually weak to slash. I've been using thrust on them for so long. Shows you how much I know, right? So we have to use these levers, and we have to pretty much use all of them to go to various places. Now, if we look at the map, the smart thing to do would have been to, or the easy thing to do would have been to use the right lever. But the actual lever that we need to access is down the left passage. There are a lot of levers that we have to open in order to get access to where it is that we need to be. So we have to unlock all of them. Every place that's accessible can only be accessed by use of a lever. So there is going to be a lot of lever usage and a lot of going different paths, different directions. This is... Pretty much as close to a labyrinth as you're going to get in this game. Because, yeah, these things are everywhere. So let's use this lever. And there is going to be another one, if I remember correctly, next to it. If I can just get around the, my own party members. Yeah, you can't push your way through, unfortunately. You have to find a way to get around them. Okay, and so there's going to be another one over here on the right, if I remember correctly. Yes, here is the second one. So let's use this lever too. So now we have the gate open to the reservoir area. Sorry, Amir. But I need to get through to continue. And we have a treasure chest. And we got a Chromium Pearl 3. So now we're starting to really see the increased numbers of what is required for enhancing your weapons and armor. So now let's go back the way we came. And we're gonna hang a right. And you know what, I'm feeling confident enough. Let's try and take this elemental down. I'm going to switch over to my avatar so he can use his combos. There we go. Now yeah, we'll just have him keep doing this. And then slash to finish off. There we go. Back to my back to Leonard. I was gonna say back to my avatar, but I was already on my avatar. Alright, now it's your turn. Oh, there's two of them over here. And when they're together, they will both attack you at the same time. For pretty good damage, I should say. Yeah, fighting the elementals is not something I would normally recommend, but I'm feeling confident enough because, as you can see, Amir has the ability to heal us. Which means that takes pressure off of spending MP for Yuli or my avatar to use heal spells. So that helps, that goes a long way. And down goes that wind elemental. Oh yes, and of course, we now have to go back over here, and we have to switch the lever from left, and switch it now over to right. And now we can move on. There we go. And onward we go. Into the next section. And down the stairs. Yeah, this is why I chose not to use 
any combos from Leonard because this is a golden opportunity for him to use the White Knight. But before we do that, let's have my avatar crack some combo attacks in there. Yeah, that's pretty good. But this is what we want. White warrior. We call upon the powers of the White Knight yet again to take out this golem. And this thing is weak to slash. So let's slash. And getting about, just about 50 points a shot. Oh, there's a critical. That's nice. Yeah, ro wrong barrier there, Gollum. You need to protect yourself against magic. And so far, this guy isn't doing all that much by the looks of it. Well, he is now. He's scoring for about 50 points a hit. And my avatar is on top of his game. Yeah, I'm not at the point yet where I need to use skill 2. We're getting along just fine without it. And down goes the golem. Alright, why not? After all, these things are weak to slash. Alright, so... Let's continue. Into this door here. Okay, there's another golem over there, but I'm going to pass on it. And I'm gonna have everyone focus on what Leonard is attacking, just so we can make sure that everyone is going in the same direction. Like, don't try and force your way into me there, spider. And up we go. And now let's take it to this lizard. Alright. Just keep pounding away on it until it goes down. And now let's go to your little friend. So now that we've got him out of the way, the treasure chest contains a mini fire crystal. Okay. Yeah, as you can see by my map, there is not one big monster to deal with. There's two down there. So there's your risk-reward situation in full effect. And I'm not using the correct attack. Which is just as well, because I missed. That's more like it. So far, so good. And if I'm not being poisoned, all the I have no problem with that. So let's get the contents of this treasure chest. A Guardian Pearl 3, alright. And since there's an extraction point right next to it... Yeah, all of these side rooms are going to have extraction points. If you want them, go ahead and take them. But I'm trying to find my way through this place. And since it is a labyrinth, do not be surprised if this takes me a while. I expect to take probably about three videos or so to find my way out of here. I want to at least get to the point where I can come back if I want to and pummel these two giant monsters. I'm pretty sure they're both golems. There it goes. And since we're pretty much fighting monsters of every elemental type except fire, um, I don't think we'll have that much of an issue in that regard. So you can't really prepare yourself on an elemental aspect in this place. Oh, okay, there's a whole bunch of monsters to take out here. I was wondering where they all were. Let's spread out our attacks again. Funny story I'm going to tell you about. The first time I ever came through here, um, I didn't... The control setup the way it is right now, it wasn't the same as it was on the actual White Knight 1 disc. When you came in here and you fought the bad guys, um and you wanted to change strategy, like you see the various different strategies that are used, I couldn't change 
um, without pressing the L3 button, which is basically pushing down on the left joystick on your um, PS1, PS3 controller. And I didn't know this, and so what I ended up doing was accidentally pressing L3 when I wanted to change direction. And what happened was that, as Yuli gains a level, what happened was that I accidentally um, changed my player's controls to have them withdraw, and Leonard ended up being the only person who was attacking, and that caused quite a headache. And that took a long time to deal with. I didn't even realize it until it's I accidentally pressed L3 again. And I guess that should say a lot for my plight the way it was. And now Leonard is up to 18. So we're gaining experience levels, which is good. Yeah, slow me down, but it won't change anything. And I'm not using the correct attack here, I need to thrust. Or could the lunging strike also do b well? Um, no, it looks like it's the thrust. Alright, so... No, I want the extraction. Now, I don't remember this correctly, but if I do, I know that I have to change... Um, in either of these, either of those two passages at either side, those are trapdoors that can only be activated by use of a lever. So I think we do need to make use of that in order to progress within the context of the storyline. It's been such a long time since I've actually done the White Knight Chronicles playthrough, the storyline, because it's been like a 15 months since I came through here with my second avatar, Rika. So it's been quite a while. And I hope I've got this right. And if not, well at the very least I'll have gotten myself with some experience points. Which everyone needs. Speaking of experience points, since I have them, let's use them. Okay, so... Yes, we want to give Fatigue and Mollify to Leonard. And then I'm pretty sure he has to then get plus heal 2. In fact, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Alright, and then Fatigue and Mollify for Yuli. What I'm doing here is that basically when you're doing the disc 1, you need to make it a point to be preparing yourself in advance for what's coming next. That's just how this works. Because the White Knight Chronicles 2 disc takes a steep difficulty curve increase, and so you need to be preparing yourself for when we get to that point. Now let's see, if I've done this correctly, I want to first start by dropping myself down the left trap door first. So now that we've dropped down here and gotten access to the extraction point, and more extraction points, so I might as well just take them since they're so close. Excuse me, Nova. Now down here, yeah, as you can see, we have a star here, so obviously we have to go and flip this switch. So now by releasing, hitting that switch, we now have to go back up to where the elevator is right here, because as you can see, where that star is, that's where we need to go next. So, my memory did not fail me, thank goodness. Ah, uh, do what you must. Try and slow me down, but it won't stop me. Unless, of course, I miss, then that's an exception. Okay, Leonard, apparently when he's slowed down, apparently he also has a problem hitting his target. 
Well, let's take care of you guys then to vent my frustrations. Yeah, breathing on me won't change anything. In fact, since it's Ice Breath, I would highly welcome it. Because, of course, since it's the... We're into fully into summer now, since the summer solstice has come and gone. I don't mind having a bit of Ice Breath sent my way. And, yeah, I think Amir is picking a fight with a guy that he shouldn't be picking a fight with. Especially if he's going to try it by himself. That's something I would definitely not recommend. <laughs> yes, we, we appreciate your contributions there, Amir, but don't be foolhardy. Okay, so now let's go this direction. Open the door. Might as well take the extraction point since it's so close by. Okay, and excuse me. Alright, down we go. We want to go to where the elevator is. And that is right here. Alright, so get ourselves a repair as well. Now, let's go and use the elevator. So we have to wait for it to come to us. Since it's it's on the first floor, so we have to bring it down to the second floor. And things happen in a natural progression here, so... You don't have to... Worry about wondering, oh, when is it gonna come? It just happens in its own natural way. Okay, so now that we are back on the first floor... Excuse me, Yuli. Now we have to go back to where we were. But in addition to that... Since Leonard now has all of his AC again... Why don't we go pick a fight with the new enemy, the Stone Guardian? Let's give my avatar the opportunity to use his combo attacks first. That's a good start. Now here's something I've never understood. How does Amir start with a higher HP than the rest of our party? That's kind of weird. But hey, the same thing happened when we had to help Rouse get the Wagon of Wine from Parma back to Ballandor. So... I don't know, it's strange, but... Uh, at least it gives them a bit of a cushion as far as staying alive longer. So let's crack the head of this Stone Guardian. Oh, I can't let you do that. I'm turn-breaking you. I'm turn-breaking you. And then I'm going to not see you brought down to your knees. Let's try that again. Well, now we can't because he raised the barrier against physical attacks, but that was short-lived. So let's keep cracking this guy. Follow me. Follow me, Stone Garden, because I want to draw in the golem too. Come on. Right this way. Little more. Come on. Come on, you know you want it. Now, did my strategy work? Yes, it did. Awesome. Now let's start taking out the Golem. Let's rip him apart. Let's watch him crumble at our mercy. Let's have him beg for mercy. Oh, yeah, there's the heal. I was wondering... Okay, I saw a mirror calling for the heal. Where is it? I'm about to run out of fuel. I don't think I'll have enough gas in the tank to get all the way to the end against this golem. But however far I can take him, that's good enough for me. Actually, we can always find out if I do have a mana potion in here somewhere. Nope. I do... Sadly, I do not. Which means I just ended up wasting some time. But we've almost got him. 
This will be the last attack for this use of the White Knights. And it didn't matter. The rest of my party got the job done. Boom, down he goes. Oh yeah, we do want to go up this way. Yeah, you can hear them. They're just waiting for me to come and take them down. Yeah, over here, guys. Nice score there, Leonard. And I guess we'll have to wait for the lizard to die off. There it goes. Ah, caught you by surprise. Unfortunately, I couldn't score on you because you were too elusive. Yeah, take advantage of the respawning enemies. Because more experience points, the better in this place. And now let's cut you down to size. And let's let Amir give Leonard a heal. Good. Alright. Now we have to change the switch back in this room to the other direction. So let's now go back into this room and flip the switch to go the other direction. There we go. And now let's open the door and go to the right. And since it's right next to the door, let's take the extraction point and get its contents. And down we go. And since they're so generous, let's go get ourselves some lizards. Yeah, I'm not gonna hesitate to take advantage of your wonderful generosity, lizards. If you're willing to be so forthcoming, I more than welcome it. Alright, so... Let's get the lizards. Gonna have to do better than that to beat me. I guess miss me missing you kind of helps that. Yeah, let's go after the elemental since he's here. In fact... Avatar, come forth and attack him. And please do so again. Good job. Back to Leonard. Uh, let's open this up. And now let's get this treasure chest first before we do anything else. And get a mini water crystal. Now down the hole. And more generosity. For such a labyrinth, they're quite ge generous here. They want to do everything they can to help you get to get to the Demi Thor. Yet while putting in as many enemies in your way as they can. Try and figure out how that works. Alright. Spiders first. Yeah, slow me down, but it won't do you any good. For you are soon to be defeated. And down you go. Amir, behind you! Nice duck there, Amir. And then the elemental. I have no problem to take my time with this one because, hey, I can use the AC. Come on, there we go. Now then. Oh, we're not done yet. Come over here, spider. Oh, and we also have a lizard playing defense, too. I want you gone first. Take your AC wherever you can get it. 
And now let's take you on. Playing defense on me, it won't do you any good. So, there is a specific pattern with how to use these um, switches. What you want to do is you want to move the lever on the left and the one on the right and leave the one in the middle alone. Doing so unlocks that gate for this particular reservoir that we now have to go into after we take another extraction point. Loving the generosity here. And so, what we ultimately end up fighting is this thing. We have to take on a big, ugly, dire spider. That's our first real boss in this place. Uh, oh, Leonard's put to sleep. That's not good. Stay awake, guys. As you can see, pretty good damage being caused by these things. Especially by the dire spider. We'll deal with you in a moment, but first I want to get rid of the little minis. Then, let's put on some combos. So, Yuli first. And then use it again. And now over to my avatar. Let's have him use his combos. We're looking good. Oh, he's getting enraged, so let's use that last combo. And now let's switch over to Leonard and utilize the White Knight's power. White oh, weaken it, guys. Weaken it. Power. Hit it in its legs and weaken it. Good. Okay, it's been... They weakened it in time. So it's going to be brought down. And so now let's thrust at it. Let's go for the belly. Yeah, the, these giant dire spiders, they have an ability that they can use to speed themselves up. So... If you have pretty much focused everything on just divine spells, by this point you might have a skill known as slow, and that will slow any enemy down. Even bosses can be slowed down with the slow ability. Very useful, especially if you're doing uh, side quests. So let's first take the treasure chest here, and get the mini wind crystal. Now let's open this Demi-Thor gate control. So that's one down. Now the other one should be down there. And it is. Okay, so now we have to go after Demi-Thor gate number two. So I'm going to take the opportunity to now go back there. Oh, and there's a golem. All right. Then we shall attack the golem. Are you weaker to a slash or a lunging strike? It's a slash. And he's definitely trying to get me all turned around. But I'm not having any of it. Take this big ugly down. There we go, that's a good score. Can I get some combos? Oh, yes, I can. Go, Yuli, go. A magical barrier won't do you any good. You needed to brace yourself against my physical assault. Not my avatar. Probably setting him up with a 5 hit combo at this point is a good idea. As you can see, it worked like a charm. Let's go for that lunging strike. Yeah, it's almost dead. There we go. Nice. I love it. In fact, I'm going to take the opportunity to implement a 5... Um, 
hit co five strike combo right now for my avatar. So that's oh, I only can do a four. All right. And let's put that in place of my previous combo. Uh, he's not quite there yet, but he did gain an experience level, so let's take advantage of that. Give him fatigue and mollify. And then he needs to gain another level to get plus two. And I'm pretty sure, yes, Eldor also gained an experience level. So let's give him Healing Breeze. I can't give him Fatigue and Modify yet. And the other two are fine. Open the door. And fight more spiders. Now up here. Take you out first. Cause you're all alone and I don't want you to be alone as you pass on into the next world. And now we thrust on you. And down you go. And now for our little spiders. There we go. We shall be eliminated as Yuli gains experience level 19. So now Yuli can get he plus heal 2. And doing so gets us her the next set of um, ability increases, MP up and spirit up. But obviously she's going to need to gain an another experience level in order to access those. So I'm going to actually now switch Yuli out because she's the first to 19. And bring in Eldor for a while because he could use some experience levels. And while we're here, why don't we set up Eldor up with a combo? Oh, he already, he already has one, my bad. Sorry, I forgot all about that. Yeah, I, gu I guess I haven't used them enough. So now we're going to want to gain access to the elevator again. Automatic heal and repair all. And so I'm going to actually save right now. I'm going to take a quick time out, and I will see you guys back on the first floor.